of course, no one knows how long a character is going to last. A good character, a memorable character, has some contradiction in terms. So in thinking up a new character I, and a new villain, I thought a villain that had a sense of humor would be different and, uh, and hopefully memorable. And then one that looked bizarre at the same time visually, uh, those were the main ingredients in, in the Joker. But it had certain elements that we can look back on now that we can identify that were part of the magical ingredient. Well, we did make it up as we went along because it was a new medium. It was a new genre of comics, a new way of telling a story. Uh, we were growing, we were kind of drawing for ourselves. We were kids ourselves, drawing what pleased us, what was entertaining for us. And we assumed that we were fairly representative of the community, maybe a little more eccentric than most. One of the other characters that I uh, had a part in creating was Batman's butler, Alfred, played by Michael Caine in the movie Superbly. Also the first cover of Penguin, and that's when we model the visual of the character. Uh, he worked on the Catwoman, among others. A, a good hero is as good as the villains. You know, heroes, to me, are inherently dull. They've got to win. But the villains are much more exciting. I was fortunate enough to be on staff at DC Comics for about a couple of years at the very beginning. And at that time, the original art, after it was shot, it was just drawn to be reproduced. It was a reproductive art. And as soon as the engraver shot the engraving, the originals were destroyed. I just couldn't bear to see some of the work that I admired destroyed. So I'd call the engraver and I said, don't, don't destroy that drawing. Send it back when you come from the next job. And that's what I had to do every drawing that I wanted to save. But all the things that you see from in this exhibit of the early Batman and Superman were saved in that manner. Later on, when I started to put this exhibit together for the, it originated in the Bremen Museum in, in Atlanta, uh, I happened to mention that I think I have the first Joker sketch ever done, that I did that night that I thought of a creation. I hadn't thought of it as a piece of art uh, because it wasn't a finished drawing, it was a sketch, character sketch for the Joker, but the first one. And uh, that's now an exhibit, and I have to keep that in a vault <laughs> because now, now they have become valuable.